Hello everybody, welcome back to the video. My name is Sean, aka Mr. Cheese Biscuits. So we're doing another item shop review video. Today is October 13th. So tomorrow is going to be the Daredevil Cup, which you can get him for free. So yeah. This combo I've been using pretty lately, I'll unequip the back lane. Yeah, I'm hoping Ghoul Trooper comes back, because Ghoul Trooper is an amazing skin. So, yeah. I honestly really hate these zombie Saku skins. I hope they are taking out the item shop today. So, yeah. Three, two, one, let's have Ghoul Trooper. Okay, there's a lot of stuff to go over today. So we have the new Ultimate Reckoning set. Okay, so I saw a video on this today. This, okay, Nash. This skin gives me mad Jack Skellington vibes. I don't know about you, but this it gives me just mad Jack Skellington vibes. Just look at this dude. He looks really cool. I don't really like the hat. The hat is like, it's too thick. On his head, I don't really like that. But dang, Mad Jack Skellington vibes. And if you guys didn't know, I really like Nightmare Before Christmas. So I'm going to give the skin an 8 out of 10 on the default style, and then a 6 out of 10 on the cursed style. I really like the default. I think it might, in my opinion, be a better version of Willow, to be honest. Anyway, we have Little Nashy. This is honestly more cute than anything else. This reminds me of my Jack Skellington plush that I got at Disney. Honestly. Oh, I like this back bling an 8 out of 10. I really like this. The violet skin. Okay, looks like the only thing in the in here that has a style is Nash, which is the best skin in the pack, by the way. We have violet. Okay, it's like I don't I'm not the biggest fan of that rapid color change. Like it's like one half is purple and one half is pink. I'm not the biggest fan of that. I guess it's alright. You have some translucent bones on it that change colors the way that you look at it. But I'll give it a 7 out of 10. Then you have the UV wings. I really like these. These look pretty sick. I'll give these a 8 out of 10 as well as Nash. I have Grave. Okay, this is my least favorite in the set. It's, I don't know, this, but my least favorite in the pack? Normally I do like the female skins more because they have smaller hitboxes and stuff, but I'm, I, I'm actually digging Grave. Honestly. He looks really cool. I'm honestly digging him. Leather and roses are the last things you'll see. Dang, this is really good. I'm gonna have to give this one a seven as as well. I'm gonna give the Nash an eight. Now I'll give this an eight as well. This is a really good skin. I'm gonna give I'm gonna give Nash an eight, and I'm also going to give Grave an eight. I'm gonna give Violet a six. I'm going to give the little Nashy an eight. I'm gonna give this style a six. I don't like this back bling very much, so I'm gonna give this a six as well. I'm gonna give this eight. Then this back bling, 8 out of 10 on the biscuit scale. Easily, overall, the Ultimate Reckoning set, I think it's amazing. My favorite skin is definitely Nash. I'll give it around an 9 out of 10, honestly. Like, all this together, I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10 on the biscuit scale. Cups of Legends is still here. You guys have probably seen it, like, way too much. I have the Reaper. I have seen resources and souls. Very crass classic, and I really like that. I like the sounds. I'll give it a 7 out of 10 on the biscuit skill. I feel like that will look pretty good with Nash, honestly. Imagine that. The Nash skin with that. That's, that looks sick. Oh, that sounds sick. Next we have Cozy Chomps. This skin is just cute. I, I, it's, it's my favorite in the feeding frenzy set out of both skins. 
You have the you can do the tail on or the tail off. I kind of do recommend doing tail on. But ah, uh, that that mouth is just so cute. Just adorable. Okay, so no tail. I'm gonna give a six out of ten. Then I'm gonna give default an eight out of ten. I really do like this skin. And then you have the sharky shawl. This is mega cute. I'm going to give this a seven out of ten along with the skin. I'm gonna give this the tail version of the skin an eight out of ten. I'm gonna give this a seven out of ten. Now I don't like this one as much. It doesn't have the adorable slippers. He doesn't have the tail. It's not as adorable. I, apparently it is Shark Tooth. Apparently he designed these skins and apparently that is what he looks like. Looks like they took the ninja skin and slapped it on there. I'll give this one. Hmm. I guess one is six out of ten, and then this back bling, I'm not the biggest fan of it. Shark backpack. Give this five out of ten. Shark sale, okay, this is honestly really cool. I'm gonna give this a seven out of ten. It's rideable as well, so Sharky Slappies. Uh oh, they're alright, I'm not the biggest fan of the sound, so I'll give these a six out of ten. Sharky rap. Okay, I like it on Shorge. I like everything on Shorge. I like it on Shorge, and it looks pretty good on Revolve. I uh, overall, I'm gonna give the Feeding Frenzy set an eight out of ten, mainly because most of the stuff in the set is pretty good. Guff, he's back again. It's like the second time in a week. He was here this week, and he was here last week. Like, you think, like, there's some skins that, re that, re that they release every month. Like, Lace, I believe her name is, and Paradigm, I believe? Paradox, sorry. They release those skins, like, every month, and I'm fine with that. They are good skins, and they should be released every month. But I honestly feel like Guff shouldn't be released every single week. May I hate this skin. I don't know why people like it. His underpants on the set. I'm gonna give this a six out of ten. Like it's not the best skin. His underpants even clip in with his head. Honestly, fluffle bag. I'm gonna give this five out of ten. And then you have the regal floof. Honestly, I like it more than Sky's swords. Is Sky in the same set? It's the mythical might set that she's in. So where is she? Quest friends. Okay, no, I'm gonna give the uh, mythical might set around a six out of ten. I'm not the biggest fan of these cosmetics. Now we have the stuff of nightmares. This, uh, not really nightmare fuel. I'm gonna give this one a six out of ten. Not the biggest fan. This one's nightmare fuel. I'm gonna give this a three out of ten. I do not like this. This is this is what my nightmares are made out of. Then you have a sneaky peek, which is seven out of ten material. I think this is pretty good. Back bling, amazing. I love this back bling. If anything, this is a skin that is like only worth it for the back bling. So I'll give the back bling a 7 out of 10. Then we have Night Night, Sleep Tight. I do not like this skin. I'm going to give this one a 2 out of 10. This one a 0 out of 10. Then I'm going to give this one a 5 out of 10. Maybe because I don't really like this skin at all. Another skin that is worth it for the back bling. Well, not in the back bling isn't nearly as good as the Battle Balloon. I don't know. I don't like this. Uh, I'll give this a 6 out of 10. I I'm bumping this up, this back bling up to 8 out of 10. It's way better than the skin. Like, the back blings are most of the time better than the skins in the party parade set. They have the pip squeak. Okay, I like this. I like the sound. Way too overpriced. Normally, harvesting tools at the epic rarity are 1200 or 1200. 
But this one just blows all the pumpkins, the same as one of these skins. I see that this is more worth it than these skins combined. Is this an eight? It is good, but it's not very much worth it for the price. Very popular though. Anyway, I'll give this these two in the set. Give this set around a five out of ten. I'm not the biggest fan of the skins, and the skins are pretty much look at what are gonna make you want to buy it, not the back blings. I just noticed this is where we popping. Battlehound, another legendary skin in the daily slot. Wow. We're having two days in a row now. This does not really deserve to be in daily. They should have put him, they should have put Battlehound right here where Guff was. And they should have put his pickaxe in the female version where Guff was. And then put some other, like, 1200 V-Bucks skin where Battlehound is. Anyway, he, he's, he's good skin. He, he good. He good. I just noticed that it's literally, like, built in eye holes. That looks sick. I'm gonna give this skin a 7 out of 10. Crested cape. Uh, this is a good cape. I prefer the molten crested cape. I'm gonna give this one a 6 out of 10. Very Viking themed. This came out before all the other Viking skins as well. Giltic. Yeah. Countic. Celtic. Celtic. <laughs> Is that supposed to be her hair? Reminds me of Big Hero 6, but... Th that's her hair? I always thought that that was part of the helmet! <laughs> Maybe because it just doesn't look natural at all with that helmet. It's a it's a good sweaty skin. I'll give it a six out of ten on the biscuit skill. I don't I hated boots. I just didn't play at all during season ten. Well, barely. Okay, I'm gonna turn this up to halfway. Hands down, Saxy Groove is the best music pack ever. I'm gonna give this a 10 out of 10. <laughs> it's really good. Face the roof. Very cheap for what it is, and I feel like it is worth it. If you if you're looking to buy an emote with those, if if you default out there are looking to buy an emote with that 200 V bucks you just got from this battle pass. I suggest getting this, it's probably one of the best uncommon emotes, really, because it's actually worth it. It's actually very decent, I like the music as well. I'm gonna give this a 7 out of 10, honestly. I think it's pretty good. Signature Shuffle. Only Elite paid 800 V-Bucks for this. You can buy a skin for the same price as this. It is really good though, so I'm gonna give it a 7 out of 10. Well, no, I'm bumping up to 8 out of 10 actually. Very good. I'm still looking at this Ultimate Reckoning pack. This, this Nash skin is so good. Anyway. I'm not even gonna go over these. Just like last video, I didn't even go over these when they were in special offies. You can see for yourself why I'm not. Horrible versions of the Saki skin. Yeah, I'll just sum them all up for you. 3 out of 10, 3 out of 10, 3 out of 10, 3 out of 10. Well, bu bump. Bump this one and this one to 4 out of 10. 4 out of 10. 3 out of 10. 5 out of 10. This one is actually the best in the set. And then back down to 4 out of 10. Zombified emote. I really like this emote. I'm gonna give it a 7 out of 10 today. Honestly, I like it. So, 
Um, overall, I'm gonna give this shop around a seven out of ten in the biscuit scale. You got the ultimate reckoning pack, which is probably the best part of this shop for me, honestly. It just looks so cool. Not the biggest fan of Violet, but Grave and Nash are really good. I've said that a million times, but I mean it. So guys, I hope that you enjoyed this video. Have a good rest of your night. Don't forget to like and subscribe.